Hello, hello, everybody. Today we are going to be blacking out the covers on the Scout. So uh, we're going to be blacking out the ignition and whatever this cover is. I've put in some putty, uh, some sticky putty to fill in this area. I'm going to try and keep that part to be chrome. Um, so I think that might look pretty cool with everything being black and then the inside is still going to remain chrome. So I have put some putty in there to protect it. Um, so if you have seen the blacking out the mirrors, I think the process is pretty much going to be exactly the same. We're going to sand this whole thing down with uh, some 80 grit and then we're going to move up to 220 grit and then put on a coat of uh, self etching primer and then put on the black spray paint. So for today, I'm just going to go ahead and try and sand this down and then maybe clean it up and then spray paint it tomorrow. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so that'll be done for the 80 grit. And the last little bit, little bit of light we have, <laughs> let's go ahead and move on to the 200. All right, so that's about everything all scratched up and prepped. So the next step is going to be getting everything ready for priming and painting. Uh, the only potential issue is these areas where the bolts will go inside. Um, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to sand down, but you know, maybe I'll spend a little bit of time trying to get that on there, but hopefully the self etching primer will also help take care of that issue. And I'm also going to go ahead and spray paint the screws as well. So everything is going to be black. The only thing that should be chrome after all of this is hopefully the little inlay here. All right, see y'all tomorrow where we're going to go ahead and get this ready for painting. All right, hello, hello everybody. It is the next day. I've cleaned up everything and gotten the screws out. Uh, these are screws for the gas tank. These are the screws for the covers. And just like before, we are going to apply the self-fetching primer. And then after this dries, we'll go ahead and apply the paint. So I've already shaken this up for a couple of minutes, gotten it all ready to go. And uh, let's start with the screws. Let's kind of get those over with. So again, sweeping, sweeping passes. Try not to get paint on the floor, though I don't think anyone's really going to notice it. <laughs> it's pretty dirty anyway. Okay, that was easy. Now let's do the cover. All right, so now that the primer is done, we'll go ahead and bring everything inside so it doesn't get dusty. And we will let this dry. Second step, we'll be adding the black spray paint. All right, now that the primer has had some time to dry, Go ahead and spray these down. It's all in the nooks and crannies in there. <laughs> And now the hard part. So the only thing I'm a little worried about is the paint drying and then peeling off of the, the putty. But we'll see how that turns out. Well, we already got some dust on there, but not terribly much we can do about that right now.
Well, we got a little bit of pooling, so maybe the second time we'll go ahead and sand it down, try and even it out a little bit more, and then try it again. But for now, we will let that dry. But for now, we will let this dry outside, well, inside, <laughs> away from any more dust and everything else. All right, so I let it dry and then sanded it down to try and get all of the hairs and stuff off. And now within the span of me just getting this ready and two minutes go by, there's already more, <laughs> more hair and stuff on there. Um, so let's go ahead and try and wipe, clean this off once again. Yeah, I live in an area where you can see those trees <clears throat> and they shed a lot of that stuff on the ground over there. Um, a lot of the fibers and stuff, like it's everywhere. Such a pain. Especially for times when you need to paint and be very Need as clean a surface as a surface as possible. Let's go ahead and spray everything down again. Just to really get everything off. Let's just do one piece at a time. Because I know by the time I try and get the other one cleaned off, it's going to be dirty. Maybe let's try getting another towel. I know, I know this whole area is not ideal, so I'm just fighting a losing battle. I know it needs to be a pristine environment and all that, but I'm just gonna do the best with what I have. It won't be perfect, but that's okay. Nothing on the bike is. <sighs> if I was really serious about it, then I probably wouldn't even attempt it. I'd just go take it to a professional shop and get it powder coated and all that. But, all right, I think that's about as clean as it's gonna get. So, let's go ahead and attempt this done. All right, so here we have the finished product. Here we have the cover on the side blacked out uh, with my attempt of leaving the chrome inlay untouched. And then here we have the ignition and I went ahead and took out the ignition. Uh, I'm gonna have a plan for this. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it as an as a empty socket for now, uh, but I do have plans to put something in there. So stay tuned to see what I end up doing with that and get all the fibers off. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out okay <laughs> for what it is. Um, I think it turned out decent. Uh, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. You can still see there's a little bit of chips here and there from when I was digging out the putty. It did pull some of the paint off with it, which is what I was afraid of. Um, but I'm not quite sure how else I would have done it because I did try to put some tape in there and for some areas it was way too small and I was worried that paint would still seep in through there. Um, so if you have any ideas on how someone else could do this job uh, while maintaining the the chrome inlay, um, you know, leave a comment down below. Share share your knowledge, share your thoughts. All right, everybody. So that's kind of blacking out the covers. I think it looks pretty cool. And so with that, stick around for more videos and content. As always, everybody, be brave, do good, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one.